lot of studies point to a number of health benefits that come with drinking coffee due to its amount of antioxidants, but it can also be an addictive habit if you have too much. Basically, if consumed the right way, coffee can be really good for you. For you to make the most out of your cup of coffee, we are sharing a few habits that are sure to improve your health and up your caffeine gain. Reduce your caffeine intake. Coffee can be pretty addictive, so it's better to avoid drinking it too much so you don't suffer from jitters and other withdrawal symptoms. If you don't want to switch to Decaf altogether which is not entirely free of caffeine, you can try a half and half coffee with regular and Decaf. Add cinnamon or cocoa to your cup of joe. Adding cocoa to your coffee is not only great as a boost of antioxidants in your drink, but it's also useful to lower the amount of sugar you've been adding to your cup. Matcha, which is a type of chocolate-flavored coffee blend, is a popular choice in restaurants around the world. The same goes with cinnamon, a powerful thermogenic and antioxidant superfood that not only is incredibly beneficial to your health, but also adds a pungent taste to your coffee. A dash of it is more than enough, since too much of it can cause uncomfortable symptoms. Go easy on the sugar. Ideally, we should all drink coffee with no added sugar or sweetener of any kind, but that's not the case for a lot of people. Sugar is one of the most harmful ingredients in the modern diet, so you should definitely moderate your intake. Try adding something more natural like vanilla or stevia to your cup of coffee. If you're still craving sugar, try to at least cut your regular amount in half. Don't let your breakfast be only a cup of coffee. Drinking coffee on an empty stomach is not a good idea. If you haven't eaten anything, coffee including Decaf can damage your stomach lining and cause effects such as heartburn and indigestion. It can also negatively affect your nervous system by intensifying anxiety symptoms. By all means, if you don't feel like having a full breakfast, at least snack on something before chugging down that cup of coffee. Go organic. Organic products are always the best available choice, and it's no different for coffee. Regular coffee beans can have harmful traces of pesticides and synthetic fertilizers. Certified organic coffee grounds are better for your health. Try Bulletproof Coffee. Bulletproof Coffee is a recipe where you add unsalted butter and MCT oil to your regular cup of black coffee. Sounds weird and unusual, but a lot of people swear by it and claim it's creamy and delicious. It's also a filling drink which is good news for those who don't like to eat in the morning but can't refuse a shot of caffeine when they wake up. It's believed to increase good cholesterol while lowering triglycerides, so think of it as an enhanced coffee drink. Avoid non-filtered water. Because we tend to boil water to make coffee, we pay no mind to whether the water is filtered or not. Not only does coffee brewed with filtered water taste better, but it also doesn't contain unwanted heavy metals from old pipes or excess chlorine disinfection byproducts used to decontaminate water. It's best to choose filtered water over tap water for your cup of coffee. Try switching to almond milk or another non-dairy alternative. If you're a regular coffee drinker and tend to drink more than one or two cups a day, it's best to limit the amount of milk you're drinking. Too much milk can cause uncomfortable gastrointestinal symptoms and make you gain weight. You could try a healthier, non-dairy option such as almond milk for a naturally creamy alternative to cow's milk. You can always drink it black too if that's your thing. Avoid caffeine after 2 p.m. Coffee is a stimulant beverage, which is one of the reasons why it's so popular. The downside is that it can disturb your sleep cycle. You can drink two or three cups of coffee in the morning, but avoiding coffee after 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. is a smart move, especially if you're already a light sleeper. Try switching to Deca for a cup of tea in the afternoon so you can have a good night's sleep. Don't buy into the low-fat artificial creamer story. Low-fat artificial creamers and syrups are often advertised as healthier options to enrich coffee's flavor. The truth is that these types of products are heavily processed and may contain unwanted chemical ingredients. 